roughly how long ago do you think slavery was abolished in all of the United States? I guess in the well, 1860s. When? I don't know. I think right now slavery is still going on, not physically, but in the mind. I know it was during Abraham Lincoln, mm -hmm. not during Abraham Lincoln. During Bill Clinton, 1995, this year. Abolished? In the last state, Mississippi, they just ratified the 13th Amendment. You believe that? No. <laughs> well, just before they ratified it, we sent our reporter Rusty Cundiff down there to buy some slaves. Watch this. In 1865, as the Civil War ended, Congress ratified the 13th Amendment to the U.S. Constitution, officially abolishing slavery in the United States. Other states signed on, but Mississippi wasn't with the program. The people who were drafting the 1890 Constitution were still angry because they, uh, many of them had lost their slaves at that time and the federal government had not reimbursed for what they perceived as property. So unfortunately, they left that provision out. In fact, as of this year, Mississippi remained the only state in our great land to never ratify the amendment. I wondered what the people on the street thought of slavery. People like the idea of ruling and owning others. No, I thought it got abolished back in the Civil War. Slavery wasn't always... Uh, being the people being beat and uh, mistreated, uh, it was just a, a fact. I thought it was still legal, but it's just not uh, morally correct anymore. That's cool, but if it was still legal, I wanted to exercise my rights and get some slaves of my own. I ran a classified ad in the Jackson newspaper and found six unemployed men whose families were willing to sign them over to me. Following that old Southern tradition, I gave my boys slave names. My last name is Cundiff. You guys are all going to be Cundiffs. I'm going to give you your proper slave names. I want you to remember these. Rush Bob Cundiff. Very good. Newt Cundiff. Jesse Helms Bob Cundiff. Bobby Bob Cundiff. There you go. Say it proud. Bob Bob Cundiff. Very good, Bob Bob. Billy Bob Dole Cundiff. I showed these boys who the man was by working them from sunup to sundown. All right, come on, come on. The slave thing was pretty cool. I went to the state capitol to show my appreciation. So many people have called in saying, gosh, I didn't know you still had slaves in Mississippi. Well, we see, don't have slaves in Mississippi. Well, see, that's the thing. I, I have some slaves, personally. Have some what? Some slaves. You do? I have six. Well, I'm glad you do. I don't. Before getting back to the plantation, I stopped at the mall for supplies. Is it all right if I bring these guys in here, or should I chain them up? Yeah, what are they? And they're slaves. Oh, okay. okay Whatever. 35, 34 inseam, 33 inseam, I think. Okay, follow me, and I'll show you with them. All right. right. And I'm going to try these on, but I need you to, uh, I need you to watch these guys for me. All right. How do they fit, sir? They're a little tight around the waist. Since I've had these guys, I haven't been working as much. I'd been working my slaves all day, and I wanted to have a little fun. I decided to find out if it was true about their natural rhythm. fears had come true. WLBT Jackson. Well, it's taken 130 years, but the Mississippi legislature has now joined the rest of the nation and voted to abolish slavery. A 250-year legacy was coming to an end. I wanted to savor the moment with Hillman Frazier, the state senator who sponsored the amendment. Is there anything you need cleaned up? My grass is so high. I have so many weeds in my yard. Uh -huh. My neighbors are ashamed of me. Get home. Senator Frazier may have gotten the amendment ratified, but how did I know it would be enforced? I just wanted to know what type of penalty I may face and if there's any grace period for me to get rid of them. No, my suggestion would be turn them loose now. 
turn them loose now? Yes, sir. Oh, I can't do that. Uh, then I suspect you'll have to face whatever the courts hand down if you're in violation. What would be that penalty? That'll be up to the judge. Or would I be able to maybe uh, think about this for an hour or two? Oh, we can give you about five minutes. There was only one thing left to do. The next morning, March 25th, 1995, slavery officially ended in Mississippi. Rush Bob Cundiff, you are a free man. Thank you, boss. Newt Bob Cundiff, you're now a free man. Jesse Helms Bob Cundiff, you're now a free man. Bobby Bob Cundiff, you are now a free man. Thank you, boss. Bob Bob Cundiff, you're now a free man. Billy Bob Dole Cundiff, you are now a free man. Thank you, boss. I think I'll run for president someday. You can do anything you want to now. Go on! Shoot! 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 There goes one happy white boy. Thirty-seven percent of Americans agree that while they would hate being British, they wouldn't mind having a British accent.